Welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Civilization 3 Play the World, the Colonization Map. Alright, as we left off, the Spanish were getting a head start on us when it came to um, exploring the world because of their little uh, galley there. But that's alright, I don't think we have too much to worry about. Right, little disease there, which is very common in civilizations with the jungle, like you see. So, even though it's very important to build military units, we also want to build a um, marketplace to keep the money flowing in, because we have to have money to have science, and we have to have science to um, get our uh, navigation so we can make colonies. So we got a pretty good idea of what we have to do here. Alright. So I want to build extra Roman because after all I don't know what threats are out there. I'll also build some harbors and that galley because I want to begin my own exploration of the world. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, we now have the Great Pyramids of China. Okay. Well, there's no Egypt in this game, so somebody had to get it. But that won't be us. And Nuremberg has the Great Library. All right, well, it, it's st starting to look um, less and less likely that we will be getting a Great Wonder, at least for now. But that's all right. I mean, with 12 civilizations, the chance of you getting one is not that great. So, we'll trade for some world maps here. And as soon as we research uh, education, we can trade that with others for things. All right. As you know, at this point the galley can only travel in the coast that surrounds the country, or the continent. But that's alright. We can um, have him look around. It's pretty much the furthest point from our empire is the Korean. So we'll just have him sail up there, um, seeing what he can see on the way. Every square you learn, even if it's open ocean, will be something that other civilizations can buy from you. And, as we know, that's a very important thing. Alright. Well, we'll build a harbor there. I usually like to build an aqueduct first, before a harbor. So that way, the city has the capacity to grow. And then, the harbor will enable it to get more food to grow. If you build the harbor first, it will often go up to six and then kind of get stuck there. So, I like to give it the option of going above six first. Alright, well, we'll trade world maps with the Greece. I'm kind of weary or wary about um, being too friendly to the Greeks or being too nice to them because they're the closest to me and therefore can most easily uh, render damage to me. Oh, and as you can see there, the Spanish have already settled one city in the New World. And it's by a source of iron, no less. But, still, ladies and gentlemen, don't worry. Like I said, it's not going, they're not going to be very robust. Also, that continent over there is so swarming with um, barbarians that they're very likely not even going to be able to... Uh, uh, build a worker to get that iron, because every time they do, a barbarian's going to come along and uh, slay the worker. So, what are we doing now, you might wonder? Well, since I have education now, I thought I might trade it. Now, a bunch of other nations have chivalry, which is actually kind of useless to us right now, because while we do have horses, we do not have iron, so we cannot build knights. However, it's still worth having. Besides, 
we can sell it to other people. For example, the, the Greeks here. And we get furs from them. Which is very nice. Alright. So, see if the Russians will give us something for it. Eh, not much. But once I've sold it to one person, I kind of want to sell it to everyone. Or at least everyone who might pose a threat. Because, um... Otherwise, other civilizations will sell it to them and they'll get the benefit, so why... Why don't I... And holy crap, buddy, look at that. Look at how much money the Germans are willing to pay us. That's an extraordinary amount. They're basically giving us their economy to learn this secret. That's not much of an exaggeration. But if they're willing to do it, I'm willing to take it. And I will put some of their money right back into science research so that I can be ahead and be able to sell more technologies to them and others. Alright. Oh, well, the Koreans can't offer just as well, but they can offer something. So, that's good. Alright, let's see what the Chinese can offer. Eh, even for three gold, I'm not going to give it to them. They might as well uh, research it themselves and stay behind everyone. Japan is in even worse shape when it comes to offering it to me, so I'm not going to give it to them. France is not that strong right now, even. Really, it's usually um, Germany that comes out in front. So, it's kind of good that we're draining their economy to get this um, skill or technology. We want to keep a very close eye on the Germans to make sure they don't get too strong. Alright. And the Ottomans, what can they give us? 80 gold? Eh, it's not great, but it will do. Alright, we made great efforts there. I'm very happy about that. And as you can see, we pretty much know the entire old world now. It's now the new world that's going to need exploring. Oh, now the Russians demand us, just like the Greeks did. We say no, but... The Russians declare war on us. Oh boy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Only three episodes into um, our new Let's Play, and already we're faced with a war. Now, how will I handle this war? How will we fight the Russians, who are so far away and so much bigger than us? Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until the next episode to find out. Alright, yeah, they look tough. So, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. So long.